Okay, let's develop the night. Just having a look at the tutorial levels. Just mixing it all into one now, so it's just the chess lesson. So simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically. And straight away there's nothing to target per se, but there's a load of dark spaces now around these areas here. What does that mean? Well, it means we can look to maybe try and challenge that weakness. I'm actually going to push this pawn here to stop this pawn. So if he wants to come and challenge, then it's breaking up the pawn structure in front of his king. Oh, and they have done straight away. That is so interesting. We're going to take the pawn. It's the smallest of details. It's not saying we're winning anything, but just based on the strategical type thing that we like to work on, keeping it simple, developing the pieces strategically. Now we're going to just push through the center here, which is basically opening up the bishop to start angling towards here. Maybe the knight comes down, that type of thing. But in essence, just keeping it simple. Another pawn push. So this, this player is, I won't say they're playing silly moves or anything, but um, they're not wanting to develop their pieces. They're going to be slow to the party. So they're looking at playing the end game. Gives us the opportunity to just push our pawn just a little bit to give space for the knight now. Again, he's gone for another pawn push. So we'll just push, push here. That's the lazy man, move. lazy man move. So we'll block that off. So he's a target in now, so he's x-raying through to our bishop as we speak. So I'm just going to develop our bishop just here. And maybe we'll get castled kingside, keeping it simple. So when you see pawn pushes like this, doesn't mean that they don't know what they're doing. It just means it's a slower process of developing their pieces. I'm going to x-ray through to the queen. Queen is probably looking to sit itself here because it will be looking to target this pawn. So we could take the knight off the board, it brings the queen into the game. We don't really want to bring the queen into the game. I would rather double my pawns if anything, attacking this bishop if the bishop takes back. Either way. So it looks a bit scrappy, messy. So the bishops come back now defending the knight. So that's an interesting situation. My brain just instantly went here, you know, with the knight. Attacking this pawn, knight's defending it at the minute. So it's kind of stuck on the back. So it might pressure them to push here. Anything else? I mean, the bishop could come here, but the knight will take. Could develop the knight or castle. Can anything attack our king? Yes, this bishop can come here and act as a blocker. So we're going to castle. Knight's moved, it's moved back to where it came from. If we do take, it elevates the queen a little bit, but it gets their bishop off the board. So simple direct moves to move pieces, remove pieces from the board strategically. Probably looking to get this knight out, maybe to get it working across here. Could bring it to this side here, but I don't really want to undefend my bishop. So the knight wants to come out. One, two. One, two. And it's blocking the bishop. One, two. Let's bring it here. Undefended the bishop for a little bit, but it's still protecting this pawn for now. So their knight is out, so we're going to attack their knight. Just keep it simple. Does capture that does give them the pawn with the bishop so was that right I believe it was because all we can do is bring this rook here then we've got a two on one on this pawn the bishop gets a check on their king they're not take ah oh, there's blocking that first before that actually happens so we will bring the rook here anyway 
So that's a good spot from them actually seeing that. And they're moving real quick now. Okay, so the knight probably looking maybe doing something, not too sure. We do have this. But do we lose a pawn? He takes, we take, we take, rooks on their queen, so I think that might be of benefit to us. They don't have to take, obviously. Got to be careful because his bishop is actually aiming on our rook. They've got an x-ray. But are we one step ahead again? Because where our rook is on their queen. Smallest of details in tempo wins. Because you could see they could see that they were going to get the rook. is this one of those occasions where we allow them to get the rook you know if we capture here then if they capture our rook our bishop captures their rook but the queen does something so if we did capture and say their queen came down and did this then we captured then his rook would escape Oh, he takes and then we take, take. I think it's a, let's see. So if the queen takes, the rook takes. If the bishop takes, we take his rook. His bishop has to move back. So then, we do have a pawn check again on the king or taking the knight off the board, whichever. So they do, so we could actually move this rook that is being under attack and attack the knight. So he's got two pieces under attack. Does he save the rook and get a check on his king with the pawn? It seems like a crazy opening, but it was simplified because of the captures that we were um, capturing and the position uh, was key for us, as always, uh, in this game. But with chess, it's a very strange thing, so you, you can't count your chickens before they've all hatched, really. So they're still attacking uh, the rook. So we could take with a check, like we said, on the king. Although it does give them time to actually save their rook, doesn't it? Yeah. So we're going to take, and if they do take, then we x-ray through onto the bishop, and then we get the bishop while he's not, having them, not wearing them apples. Okay, fair enough. So we get to save and yeah okay it's something we've got a minor piece up let's just move the knight up looking to maybe come here with a check on the king king's gonna want to block it or something whatever goes there the rook will be putting pressure on it So it's this continued pressure. Pressure onto the pressure points that way, seeing the opponents giving to us. So we just go here, he's gonna take the pawn with the rook, but he can't because the check's on. The king can't go there, so he's gonna to have to move away. 
probably down just to stay on the pawn but really the rook is still protecting so he's going to lose the rook and they've resigned <laughs>